Hello everybody, we are the Dancing Marios. Jaden, what are you doing? Mario's anniversary is not here yet. Did you get around it? Oh, what's that on your face? Did you get a tattoo? It's illegal to get a tattoo at such a young age. Yes. Shh. Please don't tell my parents. What? Just joking, guys. This tattoo can be removed easily. Ooh, I want one too. Oh, can you tell me how it works? Before that, let me show you a dancing stick mat on water. All we need is a tub of water, a dry erase marker, and a ceramic spoon. First, we will draw a stick mat on the spoon. Over here. And now, we are going to print it onto the water. And there you go. Wow! Now, Nicole is going to transfer the dancing stickman onto her hand. Oh wow! Look! Can you see it? Let's create other temporary tattoos for ourselves. No, Nicole, it's not magic. It's just simple science. Let us explain it to you. The ink in the markers are made of colour pigments, a chemical solvent, usually an alcohol, to dissolve the colour pigment and a polymer or release agent. The type of polymer used in the markers will determine if the marker is permanent or not. For our dry erase markers, it uses an oily silicone polymer. This acts as a release agent, making the ink slippery and preventing the colored pigments from coming into contact with the surface. What is a polymer? The term polymer is a composite of two Greek words, poly and boros, which means many parts. Polymers are very big molecules made up from many smaller molecules layered together in a repeated pattern. Let's use this paper clip as an example. Let's imagine that this is a monomer or the smaller molecules that come together to form a polymer. Now, if I have a few paper clips to join together to form a chain, this chain is a polymer. So, how does polymer work in a dry erase marker? Let's imagine that this is the polymer that is being used in the dry erase markers. Notice how easy it is to break the structure apart. This is like the oily silicone polymer that makes the ink slippery, preventing it from sticking to the whiteboard surface. That is why it is easy for us to wipe off the ink from a dry erase marker from a very smooth, non-porous surface such as a whiteboard or glass. In permanent markers, they use an acrylic polymer. Now try to break this too. Acrylic polymer acts as a binding agent, making the ink stick to the surface. Just like how the tape prevents you from breaking the structure apart. Oh, now I know! The ink in the marker is insoluble, which means it cannot dissolve easily and doesn't stick well to the spoon. Because of this, the force of the water easily pulls the ink up and off the spoon, causing the ink to float in water. But why does it stick to our hands? Our skin has a layer of oil that is able to bind to the oily silicon polymer that is present in the dry erase marker. That is why, why our drawing is able to stick to our hand. Would you like to try? 
smash the like button, share the video, subscribe to our channel. Also, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when our new video comes out. See you next time!